So I thought I'd throw up a blog today to describe the super moon because a lot of folks are talking about moon again and what does a larger than normal moon mean for us and why is it going to appear or actually, yeah, why does it appear larger in the night sky on March 19th, which is tomorrow night by the way. So today's video blog is on the super moon. All right, so just to give you a quick couple of facts about what you can expect to see tomorrow and the forecast is fairly clear by the way, the moon was going to appear 30% brighter in the night sky and will also appear, well I've heard anywhere from 10 to 18 percent larger, so we'll say around 15 percent larger. Now, to describe why it will appear larger, it all has to do with the lunar orbit. So I grabbed this quick little diagram off of uh, Google, it's just a quick Google image search. You can see the orbit of the moon, and the moon's orbit is not a perfect circle, it's actually very far from it, it's an ellipse around the planet. Uh, you have an apogee where the moon is furthest from Earth, roughly 400,000 plus kilometers from our planet, and then you have perigee, where the moon is uh, at its closest point to our planet, uh, roughly 360,000 kilometers. Now this happens every 27 and a half days. The moon makes its lunar orbit, and we have a perigee and an apogee. Uh, so why is this such a rare occurrence? Well, 27 and a half days for that lunar orbit, the moon cycle is 29 and a half days. So to have a full moon line up with a perigee in its lunar orbit, well that only happens approximately every 18 years. So this is a pretty rare thing. So that is what's going to happen tonight. Why is it going to appear so large early in the night? This is what a lot of folks have been asking. Why should I get out and check out the moon as it's rising? Well, we've got another little demonstration for that. This is a quick little optical illusion. So the moon is only going to appear 15% larger, but early in the evening, the moon is going to look absolutely huge. These two circles are actually the same size. When you surround them by circles of larger or smaller sizes, it messes with you. Optically, it creates an illusion. So to describe why we're going to see a moon that looks larger earlier in the night, I drew a fun little diagram because well, I was never good in art class actually, but when the moon is low in the night sky, there's lots of tiny little objects like houses and trees. It looks very huge. When that moon starts to rise and you eliminate all of these little objects, well, you have the vast night sky. The moon will appear smaller later in the night. Either way, the super moon is going to be quite a show. Make sure you tune in and check it out. Have your camera ready. And remember, for those thinking this is going to tune into, turn into moonageddon and we're going to see mass devastation, Earthquakes are driven by tectonic activity. The tides, however, are controlled by the moon's orbit around our planet. So some higher tides, probably. Are we going to see mass devastation? Well, some astrologers would tell you that's the case, but astronomers and other scientists have a different opinion. Enjoy the show. Make sure you have your camera. The supermoon, tomorrow night.